안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami. Today, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for this look that you've seen in a few of my recent videos. It's a really cute yellow eyeshadow with a graphic liner on top. I really like this look and I was inspired to wear the graphic liner a little bit higher by Hailey on Instagram. So let's get started. Konnichiwa, Nami desu. Hi, it's Nami. Ha, <laughs> did I surprise you? Started my intro in Japanese rather than my regular Korean intro. I don't know why, I just made it up on the spot. I just just decided to do it on the spot but how long has it been since i've done a get ready with me video or just a makeup video in general i think it's been like a year nami i think i've just been caught up with all of the content that we've been making and i'm very lazy when it comes to my own makeup because i'm always doing other people's faces so i get lazy when i'm doing my own face but today we're gonna do something fun because i've gotten requests to do my um, yellow eyeshadow with the graphic eyeliner so we're gonna do kind of like a get ready with me kind of tutorial thing. Let's go. Gonna apply my hydrating primer from Makeup Forever. I'm breaking out these days because my schedule has been quite jet lag, which means I don't have like a set schedule for my, my skincare. So I've been kind of breaking out. This is my MAC strobe. I almost said strobe edge. <laughs> strobe, that's a manga. Strobe cream. Is that what it's called? My new favorite foundation. Matte Velvet Skin from Makeup Forever. I feel like I should be saying something right now, but I don't know what to say. I just feel sleepy. <laughs> we only slept four hours last night. <laughs> because we were cleaning the house. My Etude House highlighting blush. There's one that's sold from Revlon that's similar to this one. This one's discontinued. I always get questions like what I use for my highlighter because it's so pretty. <laughs> this is so pretty. You can look for a highlighter that's kind of like blush based as well to get the same effect of glowy, healthy skin look, even though my skin isn't that healthy. Man, this breakout is so so obnoxious guys my pores got so big because of my acne medication like I have to like squeeze the makeup into my pores or else you'll see the holes beauty is pain everything's a give-and-take I look so white okay next let's contour real quick I'm using my three dollar contour from NYC literally I think that's why I don't do makeup tutorials anymore either because I'm not really buying makeup anymore I already have my like professional kit set and I use the same products on myself all the time. I'm not buying new makeup like at all. I used to buy like one product every week but now a days since I had the kids I'm like never out. I'm never shopping and literally like all the makeup products I use are the same ones all the time. I always have trouble with the left side of my nose when I contour it. It doesn't turn out as good as the other side. Is it okay? I don't know, but it's okay. Gotta get, get that highlight. I like to put it like right between my eyes to make the bridge of my nose look taller as well because it's like completely flat here. Like if I put a brush between my eyes, it'll probably touch both eyes because there's nothing here. So just, you know, lift it out a bit. Maybe a bit more here too. A little bit on the tip, like as a triangle to make my nose look slimmer and then like buttonier. Hold on, I'm kind of thirsty. Gotta get my lava brew. It's like a flaxseed drink. It looks like a lava lamp. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see. Can you see the lava? Mm. The founder of this drink is actually an acquaintance of ours. So it'd be great if our Ontarians could support this really yummy flaxseed brew plus nectar. My eyebrow pencil from Innisfree. This pencil is a little bit cool for my hair right now. I feel like I should use like a warm brown. I feel like my eyebrows are too ashy for my orange hair currently. 
but at the same time because i have my bangs down i feel like you won't really see my eyebrows as much so it doesn't really matter as much i always have to fill in this bald spot right here oh my pimple is so bad dad i'm gonna throw some concealer and then some powder on my pimple kill cover concealer super heavy duty concealer from cleo one of my favorites Doop. The swelling is just accentuating the pores there. The, the pimp, this pimple chose the perfect spot on my face where like there's the most pores. Thanks, pimple. For blush, I'm using e.l.f. St. Lucia. This is what I mean. Like my makeup on myself is like basically super boring. But at the same time, I've been getting comments asking me to do my makeup. So here it is. This color is a bit more warm. It's like kind of peachy. Usually I wear like a pastel pink, but I feel like the orange has to have like a nice warm tone of blush. To our eyes, I'm using uh, a primer from uh, Elizabeth Arden. I'm almost done this one. Oh my gosh, I can't see, it's so far. And if you don't mind, I'm gonna apply this yellow eyeshadow from Makeup Forever onto my eyelids with my finger. <laughs> I literally just take a clean finger, grab some product, lay it on where I want the most pigment, which will be the base of my lid, and then take the rest to blend up so it has a nice fade. I'm literally just two sweeps of color. Isn't that fun, yellow eyeshadow? Now this part, I wanna be careful because I want both sides to match while I'm blending it out. So I'm gonna look at both sides holding my mirror further out while I blend it. Because sometimes when you blend, both sides can be looking good respectively, but when you look at it together, they don't match. So it's good to look at the other one while you do the second one. Now I'm just gonna define the lash line with my black eyeshadow. Just literally the base, creating a foundation for my eyeliner to actually lay on. And I only do this to the outer corners because that's where I feel like my eye will only show it. And if I put black all the way through my lash line, I feel like because my eyes are monolid, it's gonna end up closing up my eyes more, making them look even smaller. So I like to leave the first two halves of my eyes more open with lighter shades. Yay, time for the liner. I'm gonna take my liquid liner. Line the base liner first. I like to have a lot of liquid liner on the tip so I can get a nice sharp point. And then I'm gonna wrap around the shape of my eye, keeping the same distance from the end of my liner to my eye all the way through until halfway through the lid. And I just thin it out. I kind of like it looking like sketchy like that. Near the middle. Now the hard part is matching it. So here I kind of like to make little markers as to where it would be symmetrical for this side. And then it's kind of just like connect the dots from there, but also checking back to the other side to make sure it's the same. Gonna hold my lashes flat like how they would lay on the eye and apply my glue 45 degrees like this. Most people blow. You don't want to blow on things that are going onto your face because that's air that's coming from inside your body. It's not the most hygienic thing. Of course, if it's going onto your own face, that's fine. But I see a lot of makeup artists blow. You do not want to blow on your client's face or blow on anything that will go on your client's face because that's air that's coming from inside your body. I'm going to apply this to my lids. And while that's drying, I'm going to apply the glue to the other side. But because this eye is more hooded, I'm actually gonna hold the lashes a bit higher than how they would sit. For my more hooded eye, I'm actually gonna place the glue right on top of the lash band so that it sits higher on my eye. That is definitely my tip for uneven eyelids. You have to apply the makeup unevenly to get the eyes to match evenly. 
<gasps> yippada. It's nice, it's nice. And when I apply my hooded lash, I'm going to come from above so that it sits a little higher. Press it down. But the funny thing is I press it down upwards so that when my eye is straight, it lays exactly the same height as this one. If not, this lash would actually be falling downward and it will be pointing down to the ground and this one will be high up and it'll actually make my eyes look even more uneven. So you have to apply it a little bit extra the other way so that it matches out and evens out when you're resting face. Does that make sense? Oh, it's cute. I like it. Now for our lips, I'm gonna use two shades. One's a little bit more nude and one is more pinky. Let's take our nude shade and create the base shape of our lip. I'm gonna fill down to the bottom lip line all the way to the sides. A lot to the upper lip. Create my cupid's bow a little bit higher. Filling up to the top lip line. And I'm going to fill the upper corners of my lips as well. I like to use my tongue to flatten out the skin there. And I like to lift the corners a bit like that. And then I kind of just pat and connect the rest, but I don't fill it out as much so that my lips look more like doll shaped. And then what I do to make it even look more doll shaped is I fill the insides of my lips with this brighter pink. All the way and all the way. And I fill up the inner top of the top lip. I'm going to now go and do my hair and I will be right back. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please let us know by clicking the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified right when new videos drop. I also post daily stories and photos here and there on Instagram. So I'll check you out on these platforms if these are platforms that you use. And I will see you next time. Bye!